Hey yo, what's up guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be about when to dodge a lobby in League of Legends. So first let's talk about why you want to dodge. So you want to dodge whenever you feel like you are not going to win or the chance of you winning are smaller than the chance of you losing the game. So whenever you dodge you lose 3 LP but you keep your MMR and then for the next 24 hours if you dodge again you lose 10 LP. After those 24 hours, it's again going to be reduced to 3 LP. So every 24 hours, it's only 3 LP that you lose. And my suggestion is that every time you play League of Legends ranked, that you at least dodge once every single day. And here are my suggestions for when you want to dodge a lobby in League. So the first thing is, if you have two or more teammates either being uh, autofilled or not playing their main champions, you want to dodge so in order to do this whenever you get into champion select you basically see that five uh, people join the lobby so you copy all of the names and then you go to opg and then you'll post post it and then you'll get the stats and win rates and everything from those five teammates and if you see two people are either out of field or doesn't play their main role or like main champions then just dodge the game and hopefully the next lobby will be better Second thing is that if you're being hard countered, so let's say that you're playing a champion and you know like most of the matchups and then enemy team picks a hard counter and you don't really know like how to win the matchup then it's probably a good idea to dodge since you're becoming like more team reliant so you basically rely on your team to do well because you know that you can't really do that much in this matchup since you're not supposed to win this matchup. The third thing is if the enemy team has really good dual team comps or funnel strategies on the enemy team. The most common one and the most broken one is Master Yi. So if they have Master Yi with Taric, this is the most broken funnel strategy. If they have this on enemy team, you want to dodge. If they have Kogma with Lulu, this comp is also really broken in bot lane as well as Twitch with Lulu. We played both in jungle support and EDC support. And then there are like some more unusual ones, which are a little bit more like team comp aligned. It would be like Gragas or Malphite combined with a Yasuo. Um, so if they have like these like really strong duo comps on enemy team, you're most likely wanting to dodge since these comps are like really, really hard to win against, especially if the game ends up like stalling like into late game. The fourth tip kind of is similar to the number three tip, and that is if the enemy team simply has a better team comp overall. So let's say that you have uh, two AD carries on your team. So let's say you have an AD carry in top lane, like a Lucian or a Vayne, and then you have ADC in the normal ADC role, and then the enemy team has like a lot, a lot of things. Like they have a Ramus, they might have a Malphite, they have a Galio, something like that. So if they have anything like that, and you have two AD carries, well, then the enemy team already has like a better team comp since they, they have engaged and you just have an extra um, extra damage carrier. And that way you simply buy, just have a worse team comp and you might want to dodge if you have that. The number five tip is if all of your main champions are being banned. So if you have one trick and your one trick gets banned, well, you most likely want to dodge since you basically only know how to play this champion to... The level that you're playing in. If you have multiple champions, let's say you have two or three champions and you basically get all of those two or three champions banned, which are not likely to happen, but if it happens, again, don't first time anything. There is a reason why you got to a certain rank with certain champions and just because you got to a certain level because of these three champions doesn't mean that you can play all 150 champions in league to this certain level. So if you maintain it gets banned, then you want to dodge. Number six, if people are tilted from champion select. So if you see a lot of people like typing like, ah, why you pick this champion? Or, oh, you banned my champion while you're doing this. Now I'm going to int, like anything like that. Or if you have players who just were on the same team from the last game and they lost and they're like, ah, I don't want to play with this guy. This guy's terrible, blah, blah, blah. I want to int him, um, something like that. Then you want to dodge. Or simply, again, you can look them up, and if people are on massive losing streaks, they're most likely going to tilt, or simply have this, like, I don't care mental state, where, like, ah, I lost six games in a row anyway, why why do I have to care, like, oh, I saw this, like, seven, it doesn't matter, stuff like this, so, either if people are tilted from champions, like, typing, 
uh, like negative stuff in champion select lobby or if they are on master logistic streaks you want to dodge and then the last tip is if you are being ghost cleansed by a new new player so if somebody is just like 100% going to int and you see him you see his match history and he's like yeah this guy actually just runs it down every single game some people are like this i don't know why but if you have some teammate picking ghost cleanse you pretty much just want to dodge because there is no way you're gonna win that game but yeah those were my seven suggestions for when you want to dodge a lobby in league of legends if you have any questions regarding like any of these tips or you might have your own suggestions once you dodge leave it in the comment section down below i'm gonna respond to everything Otherwise, check out my Twitch over at Twitch Twitch as Kami underscore Kazix. I stream almost every single day. Um, right now, I have some exams coming up, but once those are done, I'll be streaming a lot uh, over there. So, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you want more content, subscribe. And I'll just see you guys in my next YouTube video or on my next live stream, hopefully. So, see you guys.